Hey guys, it's Craig Severinson with Brightworks PR and Marketing here with your brass tax tip of the day. These are the tips we like to put aside for the people that want to get something done. We don't talk about theory here. We're talking about get out there, get something done, okay? So today's tip that we're going to talk about is your business card. Now, it's not just enough to have a business card. That's not what we're going to talk about because I think it's pretty common knowledge that you should have a business card. What I want to talk about is what you can do with that business card. First off, there's some debate about which way to design your business card is better. Uh, lots of people like to cram it full of information, you know, uh, just their, their whole slew of services and products is on that card. To me, that's a bad idea because when your card is so full of information, people tend to not look at it. It looks like a brick to them, so it's useless. You know, it doesn't matter if a million people have your business card, if nobody reads it, you wasted your money. So I prefer to have just a very simple, very clean business card. Put your logo there, put your slogan there, make sure you have a good slogan that, you know, speaks to their values and what, what you do, and uh, your name and your contact information, and I think that's it. I like to leave the back of it blank, and I'm going to tell you why. Um, the things that I do with my business card, besides just handing it out at networking events, um, allow me to write notes on the back of the business card. So I like to do things like, let's say you're out to dinner and you overhear uh, that there's a couple there having an anniversary or somebody selling a, celebrating a birthday or even there's a veteran there. Um, I like to do things like buy them a dessert and just have the waitress deliver my business card with the dessert and I'll just write on the back of the business card a quick note, overheard it's your anniversary or heard it was your birthday, just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. You know, then they've got my card, they're going to say, who is this guy? Uh, it's a good way to make a contact. You can even use your business card if you want to send out thank you notes. You know, you go to a networking event, you meet a bunch of people, write on the back of your business card, hey, it was great to meet you at blank blank event, please keep in touch, I think we have a lot in common. You know, and sign it on the back, and they've got all your contact information and a reminder of how they met you. So my opinion, keep your business card sleek, keep it clean, and then hand it out everywhere you go. Make sure it gets in everybody's hands. In fact, give them two so they can hand it to a friend. I'm Craig Severinson. Visit brightworkspr.com for more tips. We just updated the resources page. There's a bunch of uh, resources there to grow your business, and uh, we just updated our services. Again, that's brightworkspr.com. We'll catch you next time.